Prella, thank you. 649 now. Today's ending of the national public health emergency brings with it the end of a pandemic era immigration policy known as Title 42. That's right. The Trump era policy turned most asylum seeking migrants away from crossing the southern border to stop the spread of COVID. Amy Lou is in Washington this morning. Well, there's a mix of new rules and old rules that are taking effect. The Biden administration is opening new asylum pathways for some migrants and enforcing tougher consequences for others. We are clear eyed about the challenges we are likely to face in the days and weeks ahead. The official into Title 42 pushing the immigration crisis to a peak. The Biden administration sending 1500 troops to handle processing while Border Patrol focuses on work in the field. That requires us having more immigration officers, more asylum judges, whole range of things, more personnel. And I'm trying to do as much of that as I can. President Biden is proposing actions to stop traffickers, expand asylum pathways for some, and open processing centers in other countries, encouraging migrants to skip the dangerous journey north and apply online with a sponsor. The president's made it clear he doesn't want to solve this problem. House Republicans with their own plan pushing their Secure the Border Act, building more border wall, toughening asylum rules, and requiring employers check workers' immigration status. It will send a message to the rest of the world that our borders no longer open. The House will vote on the bill today, which has little chance of passing the Senate. President Biden also says he plans to veto it. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu. First quarter results show Disney Plus subscriptions are down by 4 million to a total of about 158 million. That follows its first ever drop at the end of last year. Variety is reporting success at the company's theme parks and it's helped curb its losses, but it's still dealing with layoffs, the writer's strike and the ire of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Etsy is saying I do to the wedding registry business. You can select registry items from the online marketplace's vast offerings of handmade and vintage items. The registry will also provide couples with a personalization service for marriage related goods, things like wedding decor and bridal party items. Etsy's bid to become a large player in the wedding market comes after previous wedding registry giants either scaled back offerings for newlyweds or just shut down entirely. Etsy gained 7 million new customers in its last quarter and has 90 million active shoppers in total on its marketplace. Limestone University in Gaffney reports that it needs $20 million for long-term financial stability. The university announced that they have an urgent need to raise at least $10 million before June 30th. Limestone officials recently announced a comprehensive restructuring plan that will take a closer look at the budget to make it sustainable. Limestone officials say they're looking at ways to boost enrollment, identify new revenue streams, and to make higher education more affordable.